everyone, my name is Monica and we're gonna talk about animals. You know why? I'll be explaining all the details about them because the animals are fun. We're gonna talk about a lot of things about animals. They're so cute and funny at the same time. So we're gonna talk about them. We're gonna do about nine because nine animals. It's gonna be more fun and exciting. So we're gonna learn more about them from every country around the nation and etc and etc. So we're gonna get started with the first animal we're gonna do is the giant panda. I know for a fact they sometimes they say small panda, medium panda, but there's no such thing as that. Okay, at least they they say small panda, but at least we're gonna talk about the giant panda. Okay, we're gonna start right now. Okay, let's get started. Mm -mm. Giant panda. The giant panda, also known as panda bears or simply panda, is a bear native to South Central China. Wow, it's so cute. It's so cute. It is easily recognized by the large, distinctive black patches around its eye, over the ears, and across its round bodies. I know because panda is black and white. It's so cute. They have baby pandas too. And they eat bamboos. So we can learn all about them. Wow. Because it's so cute that we can learn a lot of animals. First, the second one we're gonna do is the bear. Because we're gonna do eight more. So we do this eight, the second part. Okay, bears. Bears are mammals of the family Ursidae. Bears are classified as caniforms or dog like caniforans with the, with the pinnipeds being their closet living relatives, I meant. I know bears they eat fish and they get fish from underwater but they they cannot they could swim but they can they can but they sometimes they walk because it's so short the the lake the ocean you know what I'm saying because bears they need a lot of things they need like um hibernation that's a good thing to talk about bears for an instant okay we're gonna talk about the Third one, we're gonna third one. Okay, we're gonna talk about dogs. The domestic dog is a domesticated cat canine which has been selectively bred over Milena for various behaviors. Seriously, uh, not seriously, sensory capabilities and physical attributes wow I know I can't sometimes I mean like so slow to read but sometimes I can't understand the words but how wow, dogs they could run they chase stick and then they throw it I meant the, I meant I meant to say the person say they will throw the stick and then give it to that one and then the dog will catch it I love dogs, even puppies too. They're really cute and awesome. We're gonna do our fourth one. And we're gonna talk about cats. Because cats is my favorite. Because cats, kittens, when they were babies, they were so cute in many ways. And it's so adorable. Because the thing is, the cats and kittens love each other, but sometimes cats and rough cats don't go together. They always fight, fight for their half of the room and half of their place and half for their food. This is so sad. I wish they could change that. They be nice, friendly, sleep together, love each other one in hand. That's why I love cats and kittens. So let's talk about cats for instance, for number four we're gonna do. The domestic cat of the feral cat is a small, typically furry, carnivorous mammal. They are often called house cats 
when kept as indoor pets or simply cats when there is no need to distinguish them from other fields and f felines. I don't know what feline means because I don't know what that means. Because I know like cats they have whiskers and all. They're so adorable in many ways. You see that. But anytime you see a cat, you have a do pet and sometimes they they sometimes they bite but Use your hand to do like that, and then they will smell you, and then they think you're a good, you're a good person or a bad person. So we're gonna do our fifth animal, and it's gonna be amazing. <coughs> Sorry about that. I meant to say it's amazing. Yay! We're gonna talk about hmm, what what kind of animal we're gonna talk about. Hmm, maybe a moose! A moose. Well, because I've never seen a moose before, but they have two antlers in each side, and it's so adorable. But I'm so sad they always kill them. I don't like that. This is the fifth animal we're gonna talk about moose. Okay, the moose or elk. Elses? Elses? It is the largest extinct species in the deer family. Wow, because deer family, they have a lot of babies and medium ones and big ones. Okay, moose are distinguished by the palmate antlers of the males. Other members of the family have antlers with a dendritic con configuration I don't know what configuration but you know you know what I mean I can't understand that you know I just can't seem to understand words that I don't understand okay we're gonna talk about the what number we are all right number six this is the six animals we're gonna do okay let's talk about penguin Penguin, 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 penguin. Because I know penguins are so cute. They go wobble, 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 <laughs> wobble. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> about penguins, we're gonna talk about. Penguins are a group of aquatic flight. Flightless birds living almost exclusively in the southern hemisphere, especially in an in Antar Antarctica. Wow, man, I'm so sad because oh no, I'm not sad. I'm happy because they they could dive and get fish, and there's a baby penguin that is so cute. It's a fuzzy. Okay, we're gonna do the seventh. Okay. Hmm, which one? Oh, a monkey. A monkey. Yeah, I love monkeys. Because I saw a monkey in the zoo before when I was little. I went to the zoo and then I see a, I see a monkey and there's a lot of monkeys. Sometimes one of my friends, they bring a phone and then the monkey took the phone from them and then said oh it's so sad at least he shouldn't take it back for a very very long time don't ever bring your electronics closer to the cages or they gotta get it or because sometimes people doesn't do it that much or monkeys so okay this is the seventh animal we're gonna do monkeys are Haplor hind primates, a paraphyletic group generally possessing tails and consisting of approximately 260 known living species. I like monkeys, not like different, I like different types of monkeys, you know what I mean. Okay, we're gonna do our eight Hmm, let's do zebras! Zebras, black and white. 
because pandas is black and white even the zebra is black and white because they're the same but different species as an animal let's do zebra zebras are several species of african equips united by their distinct distinctive black and white striped coats the stripes come in different patterns unique to each individual they are generally social animals that live in small har har harems to large herds oh I'm they live alone but they they have water and grass sometimes they live in africa let's talk about What are we gonna talk about? What's the last animal we're gonna talk about? Hmm. We done cats and dogs, even pandas and zebras. What else do we have to do now? Let's talk about. Hmm. Kangaroos! 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 Yeah! Kangaroos. The kangaroo is a marsupial from the family of Macropodidae. In common use, the term is used to describe the larger species from from this family, especially those of the genus Macropos, the red, the red kangaroo. Wow, you know, I was thinking, we learned a lot of animals that we learned today. So, well, we're going to make more animals next time. We're going to talk about more animals next time because I'm all out of time because I'm going to gonna go somewhere or I'm busy. Well, bye. I'll see you on my next video. Like it, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe me. Him. Like me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. And I have, and I have, I make, I meant to say, have a great, great day. Bye. <laughs> have a seen a while for a long time. Bye.